from the KATC Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, another hot one today, but at least the heat was tempered by some cloud cover. So only 95 degrees, still four degrees above normal. Tomorrow we'll resume your normally scheduled upper 90s, more than likely. 79 the morning start that tied the record that was set just three years ago in 2020. So let's bring it over to the weather wall and check the status of our heat wave. Ever since June 7th, we've had 38 straight days of 90 degree plus weather and I keep keep on thinking if I keep showing this graphic we're going to break the, that string of 90 degree days maybe Sunday but that's kind of iffy 26 of the 38 days two thirds of those days we've been 95 degrees or hotter and roughly uh, one quarter of those days it's been 98 degrees or hotter and we have 97 98 and a few 99s in the forecast but this was kind of cool this morning uh, right around 430 this morning got numerous uh, videos of a meteor that was spotted over Louisiana actually was seen from Georgia all the way to Texas. Uh, this we're heading south, so this is heading toward the southeast. Probably if it reached the ground, then it would be called a meteorite. But in this case, it looks like it was way out in the Gulf of Mexico. But when you see green, that means uh, that the meteor was probably comprised of nickel because that burns uh, green uh, in the atmosphere as it's burning on up. So I thought that was pretty cool. Check out all the videos I have posted on Twitter and Facebook. There's a number of videos there. Some of them are pretty cool. All uh, aspects uh, looking from Lafayette, Karen Crow and surrounding environments. So high pressure still dominating from the west. High heat from the west all the way through the southeast and still dominating our weather. Keeping showers and storms well to the north or east of us. High pressure out in the eastern Gulf continues to supply generally a southwesterly flow. And as we look at the regional Doppler radars, the only action severe storms uh, to the north up in Arkansas, Missouri. Uh, damaging wind gusts and some hail expected with those storms, but they'll stay away from us. And all is quiet on Power Doppler 3 this afternoon. Now going into tomorrow, another heat advisory for heat indices as per the weather service up to a 111, but it'll probably be 112, 113. Uh, we've seen those heat indices today uh, reaching 113 briefly. Uh, so that's probably a pretty good call there. And look at all the heat advisories to the west. Some uh, excessive heat heat warnings as well, especially across uh, we get into the west where temperatures are going to be exceeding 115 heading for 118 and Death Valley may be pushing 128 to 130 uh, with this heat wave. It is summer after all, but there's certainly been an amplified heat wave for sure. You see those storms off to the north. They continue to bypass us. Some action off to the east of us early today, but it's quieted down. And as we take a look at the tropics, we do have a major hurricane out here in the Pacific. This is Hurricane Cal. Alvin, last check, 125 mile per hour winds. This could approach Hawaii in about four or five days as a much weaker tropical storm. So we'll keep an eye on it for our friends out in Hawaii. And then the rest of the tropics in the Atlantic Basin, quiet. We showed you the dust yesterday out across the Atlantic. Uh, but we do have an upgrade today. This system, a lopsided system, upgraded to a subtropical storm. Subtropical storm Don with 45 mile per hour winds going to be under around in the north central Atlantic, probably do a loop, uh, not going to be doing much, if anything, not uh, um, threatening any land masses, uh, just using the name Don up. And it's subtropical mainly because uh, it's a lopsided system. There's dry air on the western flank of this system, so it's not purely tropical. So no worries there. So overnight tonight, we'll see fair skies tomorrow back into the upper 90s. The model data showing us that Sunday, though, here comes the change Sunday morning, then Sunday afternoon. Afternoon. In fact, the HER model bringing in scattered showers and storms earlier in the afternoon. If that's the case, we may not get out of the 80s, but I, I would think we might see storms later in the day. We'll see how it plays out. And sometimes if the storms come in too early, then we get into the 90s after the storms. But we're going to go with rain chance at about 40% for Sunday and about 30 to 40% for Monday. So tonight, temperatures holding in the lower 80s for your low, and then they'll be rising back into the upper 90s tomorrow afternoon. 
afternoon. That heat index around 110, so another uncomfortable day ahead uh, with uh, uh, that heat index just as high as it has been uh, for the last several days, right around 110, 112. And again, the height of that heating anytime from mid morning through much of the afternoon. Avoid outdoor activities, especially from noon till about six o'clock. After that, it begins to quiet down a little bit. The heat is less obtrusive and obscene. So overnight tonight, 79 the low, some high clouds out there. Then for tomorrow, we'll see temperatures getting up to 97 to 98 degrees. Uh, and I don't think we're going to be pushing a record records this time of year, right around 100. And as we move forward there, those scattered rain chances for Sunday and Monday. And then as we uh, go into next week, the high heat continues, but maybe a change in the overall pattern toward next weekend and we'll just wait on that with bated breath. Mm -hmm. Waiting patiently. Right. Thank you, Ralph.